It's an honor to be here today. It's an honor to represent Auburn. And I uh, hope I can answer as many questions as possible. Who's first? Right here, front row. Carl, just how close were you to leaving early and going to the NFL? Um, it was a decision I had to make with my family. So, you know, what was best for me was to come back to Auburn, you know, finish my degree, become a better athlete, better football player. So, I mean, uh, it was just a decision that was made by me and my family. Questions? Uh, second row on the right. Carla, how would you say uh, your defensive line stacks up to the rest of the SEC? I feel like uh, we've recruited well. We have a lot of talent, um, but we need to execute, and that's what we've been doing this past spring. So, I mean, everybody has talent, and it's, you know, when we get to the season, we'll see how we stack up. Front row here on the left. Hey, Carl. Kevin Steele said uh, this spring that, that he kept a lot of the same verbiage from the defense from, from last year with Will. From your perspective, you know, how much has the defense changed under, under Kevin Steele? How much sort of crossover is there from, from a similarity standpoint? And how, how much uh, is, is Kevin using you in a, in a different way than where you were used under Muschamp? Uh, it was a smooth transition, and I kind of played last year. I kind of played more. I was playing buck, but when I came back, I kind of played more of a defensive end five technique type role, three, four type role. So, I mean, I'm back to my natural position at Buck coming off the edge. So, I mean, it was a lot of carryover from last year, and it was a smooth transition for a lot of players there. Third row here on the left. Carl, the fact that you guys open up at home against Clemson, Deshaun Watson, how much of a motivation factor has that been that in the spring and going into the uh, fall camp? Uh, not too much. Last year was a motivation factor for us because we, we didn't like the way we, we – we played last year. We didn't like our record last year. So every game next year is one game at a time, the same mentality. But last year is the motiv motivation factor for this team to not repeat what happened last year. Okay, next up. Hey there. I'm just curious about um, you coming back off of the injury. And so much last year was made of you. You're an incredible player. Um, and you have the injury. Season goes on. You come back. I'm just curious about coming back from that and how it's made you a stronger person, a better athlete. Uh, in life, you have, many, you have adversity. And every time I've had adversity in my life, I've come back stronger. So, you know, uh, I didn't like what happened, but I appreciate what happened because it made me a, a better player, uh, made me take, view things from a different perspective. And, and every ex bad experience or good experience is a learning experience has made me better. Uh, tangibly, how is, are you stronger, quicker step, burst? Like, how has it made you a better player on the field? Um, last year I wasn't, you know, 100%, probably maybe about 60% coming back from the, the hip injury. So I, I think coming off the Birmingham Bowl and having time to rest and then going through this off season and having a full spring, I feel like I'm faster, stronger, you know, all, if, to answer your question. Questions? I was wondering, are there any lingering issues with the injury, or are you fully 100% ready to go? I feel 100. <laughs> any other? Right here, front row. Actually, two of them. Uh, this gentleman first. Carl, just, just talk a little bit about some of the guys that are there with you on defense, because, you know, Montrevious, or, you know, some of those guys people know about, but. Um, what have you seen out of Paul James, uh, Jeff Holland, those guys stepping up that you're going to count on to kind of give you some help as a pass rusher? Uh, I see a lot of great work ethic out of this D-line and all the young guys that we have, and we work together every day to improve each other. So, I mean, it, I can't wait for the season to start so you can see those guys play for, you know, for yourself instead of me telling you. Right here as well. Yeah, Carl, you've had some time to get to know Coach Steele now. Obviously a big adjustment between the way he teaches and the way Muschamp teaches. Did it take a while for you guys to kind of get on the same page with him and get used to the way he does things? No, I mean, I've, I've had a defense coordinator change before, and we, we all have. So, I mean, it was a pretty, pretty easy transition. You know, different coaching styles, but they're, they were all good coaches. So, And front row again on the left side. How much do you feel like, uh, I mean, everybody focuses on the offense and, and, and how the offense is going to develop, but do you feel like there's any pressure at all on you guys to, to get, I mean, you said you want to get better, but I mean, how much more of it do you think is on your, your side of the ball than the offense? 
Of course, you're in the SEC, and, and defense is what's you know, posterized. So as a team, we really, like, defensively, we want to be the best in the SEC, and that's what we're striving for each and every day. So, yeah, a lot of pressure is on us, not just, you know, the offense being good. Hey, Carl, some of the, uh, the position coaches uh, describe Javon Robinson's running at style as, as angry. As a defensive player who sees him in practice, would you describe it that way? <laughs> yeah, I would. Any other questions for Carl? Uh, third row orange shirt? No? All right. I think we're done. Thank you.